صحيح Good afternoon everyone and welcome back to the channel. My name is Steph from Technuovo and today I'm taking a look at two cooling solutions for your processor. Now what I've got in my system already and it's been in there for quite some time now, it was a review piece that was sent to me a year and a half, maybe two years ago, something like that, which is the CryoRig C1. Now this was really specifically designed for very small form factor computers. Now I haven't got a full size motherboard, this is my personal computer that I use on a daily basis to play my games and to do my work. Uh, so this is very much a personal system. But we were sent the Chrono Rig 1 and I got it installed and you can see a review for that. I'll leave a link in the description. There's a written review on technuovo.com. But as you can see, it is in my PC at the moment. And it is relatively large for what it is. And it's very flat against the motherboard because it's a small form factor cooler. It's not really meant to be inside a case like this. Maybe something a little bit smaller than this. But it was the only cooling solution I had at the time. So I thought, why not? Why not use it? Um, but what I've actually done is I found, let's get rid of this quickly. What I found, I found a quite a nice bargain. This is the Corsair H80i version 2. And I picked this up uh, from a local electronics retailer that we're getting rid of them re relatively cheap. So what I want to do with this video is see what kind of results I'm going to get using the Corsair H80i version 2 over the CryoRig C1. Because the CryoRig C1 is just an air cooler. It's not an all-in-one water-cooled solution like this. This is part of the Hydro series that Corsair have put out. Um, and you're going to get, hopefully, well, hopefully we'll see some improved temperatures. Now what I'm going to use is Player Unknown's Battlegrounds. Because we've been playing a lot of that. You'll see some videos that have gone up on the channel that me and the guys that work at Technuovo have been playing a lot of that game recently. So now I've got everything out of the way, I can get on with the unboxing. Now I have my little standing knife here because this box has been sealed down one of the sides here. Now I didn't buy it, usually these come in like a plastic kind of, is it plastic? Yeah, like a cellophane kind of wrap, but this one wasn't. Um, and I, The seals hadn't been broken so I thought why not, it's a brand new uh, it would look like a brand new, maybe we'll find out that it's not, but it looked like a brand new cooler that uh, I could just get unboxed and put onto the actual system. So, taking a look, you've got a quick start guide there, a warranty guide on there as well. Bit of packaging, two fans, that one goes on each side of the actual radiator itself. That looks like there's a back plate there, and that is absolutely it in the box. There's not actually much in one of these boxes that you can really sink your teeth into. Now if I open up the cooler here, plastic can go, this plastic can go. Now you have, this is the chunky radiator that the fans attach to and that's supposed to go onto one of the sides of your case. I'm probably going to mount mine to the top of my case uh, because that's probably where I'm going to get the most clearance out of it and I actually quite like the detail that they give you on the radiator as well it does look kind of smart having this silver kind of detailing and then the Corsair logos on either side of the radiator as well and then if you have a look on the other side you've got uh, a little plastic shield there that I'm not going to take off just yet because I don't really want anything coming into contact with the end until it's ready to go inside the case but you've got this Corsair logo, which I'm assuming lights up, maybe. Now, you do have three connections here. Looking Me looking at videos earlier, I know that one specifically goes onto the USB port, but I'm not sure what the other two do. So we're going to be having a look at that anyway. Um, let me get that tightened down. I think that tightens it down, or am I just... Yeah. Get the pipes tightened down, because what... I'm my, my understanding of these is that there's actually water inside of these being an all-in-one liquid cooler part of the hydrogen series there's actually water inside of this particular cooler so I'm hoping that that doesn't cause any kind of problems I've never trusted water cooling before because that I have seen so many horror stories of someone not quite screwing in one of the pipes properly and then water is just leaked out and burst all over the inside of their machine and that could render a machine useless. So I don't really want to get into that, which is why I thought this was quite a nice solution and hopefully one that's going to keep my processor quite cool. 
Okay, so now that everything has been laid up, what I'm gonna have to do is remove the original cooler from the actual system itself. Okay, so now everything has all been installed. That was a little bit more difficult than I had anticipated, especially when it came to putting in the standoffs. That was a really big challenge um, because I just thought it wasn't going in correctly because it just had so much movement, but they had to be pressured between the two um, sort of pump cooler and the actual rear of the motherboard. So in the end, everything did work out okay. Now I think the only other issue I had is because of the size of my case being a Micro ATX case. Uh, these coolers aren't really designed to house that this this kind of equipment. I mean, it looks good. I think it looks it looks pretty good having the having the fans uh, having the fans uh, having the radiator in there and having the um, having the pipes come around pipes. Yeah, let's call them pipes, even though they're floppy. Having the pipes come around um, into the um into the process so they look quite good uh, oh lastly as well i had an issue with um the radiator and actually getting the radiator in because if you can see here there is not much clearance underneath if you can see underneath where the um and yes i have got the, the mustard disgusting flavor tomato ketchup and mustard or whatever they're called the disgusting power supply to my motherboard i need to get some new cables but the clearance between that and the actual radiator itself, there was not much room. And getting the fan in, especially the top fan with the radiator at first, trying to avoid this cable was not that easy to do. Um, but it's in there, and I had to put my um, had to put my radiator to the far right hand side of the case, which is a big problem. And I'll tell you why. Now the problem is first off that the Corsair logo is upside down. I would have ideally have liked it to have been readable, but it's not. But it doesn't really matter with the um, this Fantex case because because of this um, I don't know this I suppose this plate it sits like that anyway. So you're not even really you're not even going to see um, the radiator. So the radiator is just going to act behind that kind of wall. So yeah, although it is bad, you can't see the cool radiator inside your case. Is it practical? So yeah, unfortunately, I can't see my radiator behind that panel there, but it's not really that practical to have to see it anyway. It's just a radiator, so it doesn't really matter if it's hidden. I hope that the Corsair logo does light up. According to the box, it looks as if it lights up, but I'm hoping it will uh, as it's powered through USB anyway. Um, so yeah, hopefully uh, everything works and uh, we'll just go and get some tests on how this keeps the uh, CPU cool and see what kind of results we can get. I'll be back soon. So first off, I just want to say that this is not a true representation on which type of cooler is better. I can't say myself, I've not tested enough uh, in my past and in my career. I haven't tested enough air coolers to say that, yes, they're better. I haven't tested enough all-in-one water coolers to say there's that they're better and I certainly haven't built any full water cooling loops in my life inside a computer I told you my horror story at the beginning of the video and that's not really a route that I want to go down but when it came to these two coolers the cryo rig c1 air cooler with its low profile design and the Corsair h80i version 2 all-in-one water cool system there was a clear winner and that was the h80i from Corsair now looking at the temperatures which you will see on the screen now, you can see that there was a clear winner between the two and when the um, CPU was at low, these temperatures were taken during games of Player Unknown's Battlegrounds as I said at the beginning of the video. There was really 10 degrees, just under 10 degrees of difference and that was between at the lowest temperature when the processor was at its lowest at idle compared to the hottest temperature when the processor was put under, under load. I'm not saying that these will not work. I'm not saying to avoid air coolers. If you've got a small sort of small format ITX motherboard, for example, and you want to put a custom cooler on there rather than an Intel stock, then you can go for one of these um, because it does the job 
pretty well. I'd say it was on my system beforehand. It's a very quiet cooler as well. I couldn't complain about the noise that was coming from my system and I've not got no soundproofing on my case. This, on the other hand, was a little bit louder and I think where I turned it on, the first time startup, it was very loud. I think that was because the pump had to start getting the liquid swirling around the loop. Um, so do bear that in mind as well. It has quietened down since installing the driver. I installed the Corsair driver for this and I'm running, at, running it at a balanced uh, power mode as well. So there is a performance in a quiet mode. The quiet is ultra quiet. You cannot hear this thing at all. Performance, it does really beef those fans up. But that's if you're overclocking a, a, a processor way past its limits and you're actually burning burning a process, you need to keep it as cool as possible. Uh, this will be a much better than this because of those custom profiles. If you are looking for one of a budget water-cooled all-in-one systems, then the Corsair H80i is... I would say a really, really nice choice out there. Thank you very much for checking out our comparison between the H80i and the Cryorig C1 low profile cooler. If you enjoyed this video, then do click that thumbs up button. Please do subscribe to keep up with all of our latest tech and gaming videos. And also let us know in the comments what you thought about this format of video, whether you enjoyed watching this type of video on this channel. Generally, we stick to unboxings and reviews, but I thought why not be a little bit braver this time and, and do some kind of comparison, go outside of our comfort zones. And let us know what you think about these coolers as well and which one you would want in your system, whether you're a fan of air cooling, a fan of water cooling, even if it's an all-in-one cooler, then do let us know in the comments. As I say, thank you very much for watching and we will see you in the next video.